The plume and the pistol. A bidding end to my folly and a curse upon us all.
just gonna crack open this bottle of Arizona tea before we get started. Alrighty, I believe when we left off, I already set up a party for the next mission, but I believe I didn't touch my trinkets at all, and this thing right here pretty much proves that point. So who do we want 20% bonus damage on? Mmm, not our tank. We could give it to Aya, and we're bringing Aya on the next mission anyway, so it wouldn't be an awful idea. We still need trinkets on Jess. See if we have anything that he could use. The dodge is nice, considering it's. Plague Doctor is a very squishy unit. And we don't really have much better to give it to for now. Unless Selfie also needs a slot. Well, she's already stacking dodge. It would probably be a better choice to do it on her. And in Jess's case... Uh, debuff skill chance, actually. Would be pretty smart, huh? Stun skill, melee accuracy, accuracy of range skills, sure. Make sure that all those poison grenades hit. Actually, before we send Jess in any further, let's go to the guild, because I'm pretty sure we might want the blinding gas, which is a AoE stun on the back units. And also, we still have to... Well, actually, all of his skills are upgraded already. Mm. The medicine is okay, but typically the heals aren't too great, and we don't really use it very often, so let's get rid of that for the grenade. The blinding gas, rather. And who else do we need to change? Uh, flashbang is pretty useful. And finish him. Well, flashbang is a stun, so if you get flashbang, you typically want to bring finish him as well. So... Let's try running that. We'll get Nick a uh, different combo to use in case someone isn't marked. So flashbang and finish him. We'll upgrade those and those. And we'll switch these around. And I believe I already fixed up everybody's camping skills, but apparently I didn't equip them. Oh yeah, we gotta send Jess to get, uh, Selfie to get the camping skills pretty soon, cause, but she's in the sanitarium right now. And who else are we bringing on our next party? So, let's just give Aya this for now. The bonus damage on a Hellion is crazy good. And since we have Blackwing, we can give the Leper Accessory, which is pretty damn good. And do we have anything else that's remotely good? I guess more melee accuracy wouldn't hurt. Why not? And if we're gonna bring Aya... Let's bring Toad, Nick, and our Occultist. So, for our Occultist... 
Typically you want to give them a lot of speed, because if you bring them with a uh, bounty hunter, the occultist actually has a mark skill. So you usually want them to go first, but we don't seem to have any speed gear. So I guess we'll be on our merry way. Hey, futile. Welcome to the party. So let's toss our bounty hunter in here. Let's toss our occultist in here. And what dungeon will we do? Boss is still not giving us anything useful. Uh, that's not very good either. We don't really want to do veteran missions yet because we only have three level threes. <laughs> A bard, you say, huh? Shame or Jester is not comping us on this mission. Uh, plus 15% max HP. It's okay. So, pretty much all of our rewards are kind of bad, but we do need to start leveling up places. So let's just go to the Warrens. Pick up our food. Uh, 20 seems good. Two shovels, some bandages, a key, holy water, herbs, and 12 torches seems good enough. And we'll head out. Tile. We're not quite troubled yet, but even a bard is a bard. I will not turn one down. This is an awful dungeon layout. I don't think we can really get across it smoothly, so I guess we'll just tackle it row by row. Some heirlooms? Nope. Here. Oh man. If there's not a room battle behind this, I'm gonna be pretty annoyed since we're getting rid of our shovel already. But at least there's a free torch back here. Okay. We got lucky. There was something useful to do here. So, the Swine Wretches are pretty much just a stress unit. These guys with the damage, and these are the tank slash annoying beefy dudes that are in every dungeon. So let's get rid of this guy first. Hit him with a stun. And we'll mark the big guy. Missile artillery in the background. Pretty nice grid. We could Iron Swan for the kill on uh, the unit in the back. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, artillery again seems kind of pointless. Let us do a heal. Right. Oh, that was a pretty bad roll, but at least no bleed. We'll toss another mana to get a kill. Give them no Toad putting in work. 
Also, I totally derped. I brought Mojo instead of Aya. So I guess we're not having a level 3 Hellion anytime soon. But uh, let's collect bounty on this big guy. Ooh, unfortunate stun. But we can end this man. Confidence surges as the well, enemy man crumbles. Man pig thing. Man pig bear. Oh wow, the rush resisted. That was a 10% chance. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Their formation is pretty broken. good though. Maintain the offensive. As victories mount, and let's open this so chest. too will resistance. Deeds can always use more deeds. Never enough deeds. Now let's make our way through the second layer. I don't think I would ever drink the water from this place, Futile. Or bathe in it. Hunger already, man. We just stepped into this place and we've already used a shovel and some of our food. And here's some new enemies. Well, at least new to the playthrough. So, the drummer is like insane stress. And I forget about these guys, but they're relatively squishy, so let's not worry about them. And a little artillery. Fortunately, didn't pick up a kill there. Uh, we could flashbang the wretch. And now we can, if it bleeds, continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Nice dodge. And let's manacle. Ooh, almost got a kill. Hopefully the drummer doesn't get to go. Dizzying blow to body and brain. But that leads me to the question of why an iron swan futile? Unless you're saying that my party is destined to doom in this, uh, destined to doom <laughs> in this forsaken place. However, things are looking pretty great. So, Remind we shall ignore the warning from our beloved bard. Killer. Trap. Oh well. No anti venom. But scouting. Okay, we can skip this room, but we don't know if we can skip that room, unfortunately. Open up these. More deeds. I'm surprised we went in here not looking for deeds, but we're getting a lot of them. Oh no. Oh. Resisting the poison from the moonshine is pretty legit. <laughs> Gotta resist the temptation, Toad. Okay, we did have to go there, luckily. And we do have to go here and here as well. Oh, man. Quite the layout. Oh, my god. Does this guy have some kind of drinking addiction? Let's check him out. Uh, yep, intense craving for alcohol. I'm glad I brought you along, Toad. Ah. Iron Swan, Iron Swan as in the skill. Fair point. Totally went over my head. <laughs> Alright, we could artillery and attempt to get some kills, but healing is so tempting. Uh, 
man. Yeah, let's just heal our health. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you know what? It didn't bleed. It could have been worse. Toss out a manacle and not get a stun. So far, so good. Yeah, if only this character had breakthrough. We can Barbaric Yop and stop these two from attacking them. So that'll buy us a turn. Ah. Uh, we can do finish him on the stun unit. Ooh. Gotta love bounty hunters. And old manacle for the kill. I'll try to be more vigilant of your commentary, futile. We'll pop a heal again. Okay, eight makes up for the zero last turn, kind of. Oh boy. He's not looking too good, though. That wasn't very helpful, either. So... Manacle should pick up the kill regardless, so let's just hope... Uh... This will do 7 to 13, and that will also do 7 to 13. Ooh, nice crit. Snort. And mana for the win. And a crit. Executed. Great stuff. And more deeds. This expedition at least uh, promises success. Citrin's not too useful. Well, it's money, but let's put some holy water on this bone altar, and that did nothing. Let's just investigate it. Ooh. 15% damage, 10 accuracy, 5% crit until next camp. Hmm. Well, we could be a bit cheeky and, uh. Right before we finish the dungeon, we'll camp just to relieve stress. That way we can keep the buff on our abomination. Pop a heal on itself. Crit. And if it bleeds. Well, at least it got the bleed, so that guy's dead. And we can finish him. Or not. Punch. Slowly. And another Gently. one bites the dust. This is how a life is taken. That vomit. Pretty gross. Manacle. So close. Surprising we got the stun though. Uh, let's toss another heal out on our Hellion. Good stuff. And we'll wick attack. Even better. And this should be the end. Fairly sizable stack of money victory. there. Uh, we could just eat this food. Loose. That was cool. Two free HP. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so... Right here, we'll need a shovel to go through. So I'm thinking we go the long way around. And also, it'll help us because we get a perfectly clear path back. I believe Nick has a good chance of traps, yeah, 60%. So up ahead should be fine. Uh, let's manacle the carrion eater. So close with the kills today, Toad. Not on point like usual. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's Vulnerability Hex. We'll kill one of, the, one of these guys in the front with our Bounty Hunter. And... Hack! Go 
good stuff. And collect bounty. 25. See, this is why you want a bounty hunter on your team. And manacle to kill. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven oh. into the mud. Time to play with some bones. Bloodthirsty. Hmm. Fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. Hopefully for others. Self-torture, not so much. Into I totally forgot about the trap. <laughs> Luckily we dodged it. Toss out some more manacles. That time it was a kill. Good stuff. And... Could vulnerability hex to guarantee a kill. Yeah, let's just do that. Now he's getting the kills. Toad just needed a warm up. Success so clearly in view. Or is it uh, merely a trick of the light? We can drop the anti venom for some more loot. We'll interact with this over here. Oh, well, at least this is decorative, even though it started bleeding after we interacted with it. So no combat in that room. Maybe we can get lucky and there's no combat in this room. And then we can just end it in two more. But let's deal with these maggots. Manacles on point today. And let's heal our toes. Good roll. No bleed. You're so big. Also, their name is Maggot, but doesn't it look like there's two of them together? Shouldn't it be Maggots? Nice crit. Toss another manacle out, get another kill. Momentum. Push on and to the push task on. end. I really gotta pay more attention to these traps. <laughs> Luckily it's not damning us too much. Oh boy. Mojo just stole 300 gold and two food from us. And this is why kleptomania is bad. Let's mark this guy. We need to get rid of him pretty soon. We'll manacle the drummer. Yeah, I was gonna bring Aya. Aya. Unfortunately, I have two Hellions. Gripping in the guts, that's new. Oh wow, minus 20% heal skills when camping. That's unfortunate to just randomly pick up. 
Let's, uh, if it bleeds, pick up a kill. Butcher cut. Not too bad. Okay, maybe a little bit bad. Collect bounty for 19. So close to the kill. Oh, drum of doom. That's not what I wanted. Reeling. About to break. And that's why I've been focusing those. Yeah, I gotta bring Jess to cure diseases with the camping skill that I picked up last time. Uh, let's do Abyssal Artillery. Pick up a kill. Uh, Manacle can't reach. Bile can't reach. Let's just stress heal. Okay, it's a good thing... That guy didn't hit anybody. Iron Swan for the kill. And another easy encounter. Be wary. Let us drop Triumphant the medicinal pride precipitates a dizzying Heirloom ball. chest. Well, wait, does the other room... No, it doesn't have a key. Or a treasure chest icon. What is this? 10 range accuracy. It's okay. Up we go. Hunger again. Books are always iffy. Uh, let's use it on Toad. Oh, cool. Deadly. Plus 1% crit permanently. Good stuff. Well, what did I get rid of? Uh, I guess it's too late to check. Someone on stream can tell me one day, I guess. Swine Chopper, more cultists, another drummer. Uh, I kind of feel tempted to just transform here. Doesn't like this at all. And we'll rake. Heal up on the Green ears. Ooh, that crit really sucks. Come on. Approaches. Masochistic. Mojo, please. Ah, oh, the drums. Bleeds. God. Killing blow. <laughs> Things are going so well until this point. Okay, at least he didn't pass. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. We could probably just take out the one in the front. Oh boy, we need to use that bandage. Uh, let's flashbang the drummer. Because we don't want any more stress. Also, this guy's, I think, might be useless back there. Uh, we'll use Rage. Kill him. Death waits. God, these crits. Laps and, and now, this Barbarian has the runs. This is a pretty awful run all of a sudden. Uh, let's heal up Nick. Uh, let's flash, or we can finish him on, uh, the drummer. Twelve, not bad. Wicked hack. And sadly, Toad can't reach anymore, so let's transform back. Give everyone a little bit of de-stress. And I guess we just have to absolute. And we could abyssal artillery, or let's just pop another heal. Vomit on his sweater already. Flashbang. 
Okay, now we can kill him pretty easily Let's, if it bleeds for the kill. What is this? These Nothing nightmarish useful. creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And we are done with the dungeon. So let's touch this spooky thing for reasons. We got a buff that will not help us, and let's camp. A moment of and now we can focus everything on uh, against the what the horrors. hell just happened here. Our Pelion lost HP. And gained stress. Okay then. So now we can just focus on stress relief. Uh, all companions heal. Increase stress, don't want that. That's a 10 heal. Stress damage. No. Okay, I guess we'll just revel. Or we'll not revel. We'll... We won't do that either. She'll just waste her points. We'll encourage Toad. Oh man, that's that's something, huh? I guess everything else is kind of pointless since we're just about to leave anyway, so let's just rest. Darkness closes. And in. it's our first Haunting ambush of the, the playthrough. And we got surprised in a very bad way. So we'll slowly inch Toad up front. And we'll vulnerability hex one of these guys. Look where it Such hurts. A terrible assault Damn right. Not be left unanswered. Yeah, I think Mojo needs some time off. Uh, we'll flashbang here. Look where it hurts. Uh, we'll do if it bleeds. Not get a kill. However, now we can mana holes and finish him off, or we can stun someone else. Let's risk it. Tough stuff. Well, for some reason, no one's messing with our Hellion yet. But I guess that's just the way it is sometimes. And if it bleeds. Should have probably if it bleeds that one, because Manacle would most likely have killed the other one at four. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we have the stun again. That's surprising. The slow death, unforeseen. And we can curse for the kill. Cool. Oh well. Radiance, I don't know if it was worth camping. Victory. After the fact, but I mean, Toad got less stress. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Yeah, our confidence was definitely shaken there, narrator. Lots of heirlooms, though. Hopefully the quirks aren't too bad. Faithless. Okay. Slugger. Replace plus 10% damage on melee skills. And Vertigo. Pretty good. Oh, it replaces Cove Scrounger. That's even better then. But he only usually he only uses melee skills when he's transformed, but I guess it's still useful. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, uh, Selfie's back and will no longer just whip herself for relief. 
so we can hypothetically bring our A-team. However, this time we'll bring Aya and not this abomination of a Hellion. Well, let's check our card. Uh, another Crusader, do not want. Another Jester, don't really need another Jester right now. Grave Robbers are nice to have, but oh, we can pass. I do want another Man at Arms eventually, so hopefully one of those shows up in the near future. But let's check if we can upgrade the guild at all. <laughs> Don't worry, Aya. The real team will show up soon. Uh, we can reduce the cost of training. Not really a priority right now. Uh, no upgrades can be made to the blacksmith. Let's check the sanitarium. Nope, we're missing uh, bus. The Abbey. Also bus. Stagecoach. Stagecoach we can upgrade. Uh, increase from 4 to 5 is not really a big deal. Increasing our roster by 3. We can save it until we actually find someone useful though. Though I guess in that case it would be smart to actually get the great heroes can be found Let's even here. Check the, in the tavern and rain. Tavern we can upgrade. Increase the number of slots at the bar. That's an important upgrade. Now we can relieve the stress of two people for cheap. So despite everything that happened with Mojo, we're gonna shove Mojo in there. And we'll also shove Gastron in the brothel, apparently. And Toad can go in the bar as well. And Nick can go gamble. Have fun, you guys. Let's check our Nomad Wagon. Sun Cloaks are pretty decent, considering we're doing mostly light runs right now. But we don't have the money because we just spent it. That's not that good. That would be pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Oh well. Let's see what rewards we have now. Abomination only. Minus 25% stress damage done to party from skill transformation. Hmm. Doesn't seem worth it though. Because when you transform, it does like 10 stress to everybody. But when you transform back, it only heals like 3 stress. So it's still a net gain of like 7 stress. And even with like a 25% reduction, let's say it's like 7, you're still gaining 4 stress. 4 stress versus 7 stress is not really that huge of a difference. This I want. This I want 100% of the time. Uh, let's keep looking, and also that's a veteran dungeon. God damn it. Nope. Mm, good for sun run or uh, light runs. Pretty decent, actually not really, because it lowers heal skills, and usually you want your vestals to be healing. Okay, so. We could bring Aya to a hard veteran mission, or medium veteran mission. It's hard relative to what we've been doing though. Oh man. What do you think, Chad? Do we take the hard road, risk our best units, and get a pretty sick piece of loot, or do we just play it safe? Because we need to burn another day. Selfie believes. Oh man. I guess it's just what we gotta do. We need the deeds. Hopefully this works out. We can bring Aya here, I believe, so let's just bring the whole A-team. And let's just hope that things go our way. Uh, let's... Oh right, I gotta get selfie camping skills, that's important. Cause she was in the slammer. 
Uh, produce a supply item, scouting chance, remove target disease self only. She doesn't have diseases right now, but that could be good. Uh, reduce stress, stress damage, gallows humor is pretty good, keep that. Scouting chance, I think selfie is pretty much fine, but we, I mean we can get another skill. You can hold four camping skills at once, so you might as well. So let us get the scouting chance for now. Now we can suffer. Hopefully this goes well. I'm gonna be extra safe and just buy out all the food. And we'll get... We're going to the weld, so we need anti-venom. We need bandages. And let's remove one. We'll get a medicinal herb, because if we find carcasses we can get even more food. Uh, we'll pick up some torches. 12 is decent. A key. And we're on our way. I didn't buy shovels. Hopefully we don't need them. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Well, carcass already, but Selfie doesn't want us to use the medicinal herbs. Luckily she resisted the disease. Okay, flashing daggers. So now we have twitching maggots versus the regular maggots. So these ones have like double HP. Confidence Luckily we still have crumbles. OP crits from Selfie. And we'll do retribution to finish this guy off. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Oh man. Good repost. Uh, let's just incision for the kill. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Don't I want selfie in the third slot, not Jess? That I do. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Okay. Grave to rob, so let's send our grave robber. And wasting sickness. Minus 50% disease resistance. Remember when we had the chance to get a camping skill that removes the diseases? Imagine if we got that. Blighted giant. 112 HP. Welcome to medium level dungeons. So let's flash and drag it. And we'll repost on this guy. We can blinding gas these two in the back. Luckily we got the double stun. And we can, if it bleeds on the giant. Sweet, we actually got the bleed. Please don't hurt. Okay, Repost did well, but he completely shuffled us around. Rabid Rush, we're gonna Repost again. Uh, we can Flashing Daggers, but it won't do it much for us. We can pick to the face. Let's pick this guy. Curse of Vulnerability. Double dodges there. Pretty funny. Uh, let's insert him. Hopefully we stack up that bleed. Cool. And we can do even more bleed, or we can break through to kill him and do a little bit of damage. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And I guess I'll defend her onto either Selfie or Jess. Let's go with Jess, because he has a diva on him right now. And of course it goes for Selfie. <laughs> Three. It's a 
a lot. Uh, luckily we can flash and daggers both of them now. Embrace the dark. I think that's a stress move. Yeah. And now we'll defend our selfie. And now he's probably going to attack our Hellion. One decision again. Well, if it bleeds one more time. Oh, that's cool. When you mouse over them now, it will show you their skills at the bottom once you've seen- What assault. the hell was that? Unanswered. Please don't kill. Okay. I almost died. I wish that was reverse. Incision, please. Their cursed champion falls. Alright. Okay. Ghoulish uh -huh. Brought low and driven into the mud. Yep. That was a fight. Truly, that was a fight. So, Aya got crit for 42. We're gonna eat a food. And hopefully, she lives through Death's Door. And we need a shovel. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's pop some torches. This is not gonna be a fun time. Okay, please no one interact with this so we can get some free food from it. Please. Alright, so after we suffer a huge Nature stress hit from this, we'll heal Aya back up. To the spreading corruption. Malformed oh god, Aya is so close to dying. Just eat a bunch of food. Uh... Okay, surprises are nice. Little flashing daggers. A singular cool. strike. I'm liking that. I'm hoping Aya doesn't go crazy and totally kill us all, though. Blinding gas. We should start the reposting. Reposting. Uh, do I want to adrenaline rush? Or I can, if it bleeds right here. Right okay, at least that wasn't on Aya. Also that. Getting some chipper post damage. Okay, that's a stress. Fearful. Great. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Flashing daggers, double dodge. Eldritch push. Please don't move. Okay, great. Thanks. I appreciate it. I still have repost, so we can crush on one of these guys. And what do I want to do here? They have really high blight resist. Let's just stun this guy in the back again. Quickly the time. Oh, that crit sucks. Crit into blight, into stress. And Aya's stressing everyone else out. And Aya's on death door again. And Aya's blighted. And might die to the blight. And make me very sad. Oh, thank god.
<sighs> I'm not sure. Did I pass her turn? Really? Okay then. Okay. I'll just deal with it. Let's Noxious Blast onto this guy. And kick to the face. And still not kill. Injury and despondence. Set the stage that. for heroism. And or cowardice. We'll retribution. And miss. I death door. Pop that. Will General Rust to bring her off Death Door? Thanks, Tao. Perched at the oh, simple as a Death Door. Oblivion. Okay, now it's getting ridiculous. Well, to the face. For nothing. Doomsay. On the brink, facing the abyss. Selfish. Hmm. Okay. We could try to retreat. Oh, thank God. That huge ass stress head. Let's abandon this quest. No setback. Yeah, Tao, this game things. is not everyone's friend. And this is why we don't do the hard missions early. And now we're gonna get a bunch of negative quirks. Hard noggin. Stun resist. Believes is possessed by demons. Uh, fear of beasts and weld tactician. Diurnal. Plutomania, Weapon Tinkerer, and The Worries. Selfie actually got a disease from this screen? That's crazy. Yeah, Tao, uh, this game is brutal, is but it's definitely fun man. to play. So now our entire A team needs some stress relaxation. However, we have like no gold, and we need some to go on to the next expedition. Ha. Huh. I would have liked some virtue chance. <laughs> These guys are all afraid of going in now. Uh, leper only. Three crit, three speed. Yeah. So instead of going on an easy mission, let's go fight a boss. Why not, guys? Let's go fight a boss I've never fought before. <laughs> So let's take Feral. Let's take our Arbalist. Let's take Blackwing. And who else do we want to bring? We'll take Wing. Wing wouldn't hurt. Yeah, let's bring wing. And let's head out. So let's pick up some food. We'll pick up a medicinal herb because we're in the weld. So we can get some extra food from that. We're bringing shovels. We're not going to afford a key. But we're going to bring some anti-venom and torches. And hopefully that gets us through. Simple folk. By their nature, loquacious, and the yeah, of the I can agree with you, no so I it that was, was my first oh no moment. Of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend in the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos. Awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. So, not only was last mission awful. The smell but of sulfur 
and gunpowder hangs I have the never air. fought this boss before because I believe it was pretty recently introduced. At least it was introduced after I stopped playing. Yeah, at least nobody died. We can save them slowly but surely after we make some money. So, the boss is either going to spawn here or here. I'm not a betting man, but let's go to the right. Oh, 6 HP maggots, how I missed you. Uh, Arbalist. Can you, can you hit more, for more than 4? No, you still only hit for 4. I know it's been a while, but still. Well, at least this one in the back's gonna die to bleed. Uh, let's sell us the accuracy. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And chop. Nice crit. At least someone's positive in this group. A death by inches. Troubling effigy. No fear, Blackwing is here. Blackwing and Wing. <sighs> A little bit of stress. No bleed, please. Awesome. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let us hound rush this gentleman. And then we'll hew. The ground. Definitely quakes. should have done it the other way around. Because Blackwing's got the crits. Uh let's sniper shot or we'll mark this unit. And then we'll sniper shot next turn. Zealously accuracy. Unfortunate dodge. Bit more stress. Debuffed. Stress damage. Fun, fun. Uh, we could kill here, but he'll probably just die to uh, AoE attack. So let's send that pound after the Acolyte. And we'll you press this advantage. Oh black them how I love you right now. That one percent crit chance doing work. Their formation is broken. Or our bullets did damage. Offensive. This is a new chapter in my life. We have a character that does damage that isn't for. And that's why you bring keys. So much blood in me. And another trap. Watch now he's bleeding, step. poisoned, and stressed. Now we no longer have any means of which to cure status. Good old cordyceps. Uh, we could target whistle. Let's try it out. We haven't done that before. A oh, target whistle counts as a mark as well. In that case... <laughs> hey Blackwing. Welcome to the party. Currently you're the only one amongst this party who's doing any good. Also, if I knew that it was gonna mark, I wouldn't have marked the guy in the front, huh? Not bad. Cannot be left on All not awful. Okay, slowly eating away at our savior's HP. Uh, let's send a dog back here because I don't trust our arbalist right now. And we'll heal. Pretty close. Uh, Zala's accusation should finish these two, and our arbalist should get that one in the back, unless our crusader goes first. 
which luckily is confidence surges as the enemy. Good thing I sent the dog back there. And it's all civilization for the kill. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Pop another torch. Get 25 gold. Keep headed in. Nothing here. Scouting, please show me if the boss is here. Okay. I'm getting pretty lucky on finding where the bosses are, huh? Pack contains loot. Uh, okay, Handmaster has a 50% chance. Good job, Feral. Pop the torch, pop the torch. Fight a couple of cute dogs. Dodge. Uh, dog on dog. You know, I kind of hope one of our melee units up here gets rabies. The damage bonus would be nice. Uh, the bleed's not so much. Good accusation. Uh, let's use our Arbalist. We'll hit for 4 plus 2. Okay then. Uh, let's just let our dog back here. And smite. And we're Seize about ready momentum. to fight the boss. Push so on to the let's pop this end. campfire. Eat some food. And we'll use this time to hopefully buff up. All companions heal. Heal, remove bleed. Stress damage. Uh, reduce stress. Reduce stress, heal, more stress, more stress damage, quarantine. All they have is stress relief and everyone's... okay. Funny stuff. Let's just do all the stress resist like this. Those two are pretty important. And one companion reduce stress. And reduce stress. And three more. And we can't really do anything else. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Oh, altars. Just purely bleeding decorations. Get some food here. Good thing we brought that one medicinal herb. So after this spell of combat, we're gonna feed as much food into Blackwing's mouth as we can shove. And fight our boss. Alright, this is your time to shine, Gale. You just have to hit for four. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, now for the fun part. So, this I've never fought the Brigand 8-pounder. I don't know what to expect. Well, I expect some big dude with a gun. But that's about it. I don't know how legitimate that is thought is. A blazing star is but born. we'll see. Oh. It's not a dude with a gun. It's a big gun. 
Well, ain't that funny. So, it's super stun, uh, status resistant. And... we kill it, I guess. If we kill all of the people running it, does it... kill the lighter? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If we just kill the person lighting it, can it not do anything? You did something good, Gale. Good job. And we'll chop this guy. Good stuff. Can we holy lance him? Yes, we can. Reinforcements. Oh, he just summons more lighters. That's a pretty cool mechanic, huh? Ah. Yeah, respawning's fun. So I guess we'll just drop its protection. I actually want a bola, because I want this thing to be in the back so our arbalist can shoot at it. Can we knock back it? It's 100% resistance. And this is... 110%. So it's a 10% chance to move. This is strong. Make sure to kill the lighter every turn. Fortunately, we can't kill the lighter this turn. Uh, let's Bola. Double resist. Fire in the hole. Misfire. Why would I kill the lighter if it's just gonna reduce my stress? Silly selfie. Oh my god, that thing is so tanky. And this is after I reduced it. Uh, let's... Mark it. No, we can't mark it, huh? Sniper stuff back here. Wow. I guess Gale just hates other uh, ranged weapon users. Okay, now that it's farther back, resist the diva. We can actually use our Gale to shoot at it. Maybe it'll do some damage. Maybe it won't. It didn't. So I guess we'll heal. Fire in the hole. Holy. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. More reinforcements. Don't kill Feral. Oh, nice dodge. Very nice dodge indeed. Okay. Cell accusation. Yeah, Selfie, you did warn me. Let's use this dog treat. Let's kill this lighter. I don't want this attacking anymore. I, it had its fun. Let's get Feral out of Death's door. Well, luckily, because Feral ain't the dog biscuit, he can, like, kill the lighter every turn. Blanket fire. Ooh. A dizzying blow to body and brain. That's not good. Okay, send the hound. A powerful blow. Good job, Feral. Proud of you. Good crit. Blow. Nice work wing. And we'll sniper shot it. Let's whittle away. That's all we can do. Luckily, if it's gonna take pretty much no damage from everything, we might as well just keep attacking it with AoE. And we'll hound rush this guy again. Blank and fire sucks. No one's at death's door, though. Now Feral's back. Nope, dodge. 
It's so close to dying. Please let it end. Oh, that's an unfortunate dodge. Okay, we can kill it this turn, so I don't think I need to kill the lighter. I'm curious what the lighter would do if there's no cannon, though. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Okay. Nice crit. And we could Hound Harry. That would get a kill on this and damage everybody else. I spoke too soon. A corpse of twisted Please don't kill metal, Feral. Splintered wood. That's all I ask. At home amongst the headstones. Quite a simple request, really. Hot shot. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Rip in peace, Feral. At least Blackwing lived. As life ends, and wings of Death Star. Terrible vistas uh, of emptiness reveal themselves. Alright, smite. Okay, he's dead to bleed. Sniper shot. Okay, one casualty. Things happen. They couldn't Remind even fit the rewards on one page. This is slow and oh, care. right, because these were Feral's trinkets. Man. Well, we can give the Blightstone to Jess, so I mean, something good came out of this. Even though we lost our beloved Beastmaster. And we got this Leper Mask. Well, let's just hope Feral's up there in that dog kennel in the sky. Balance, fear of Eldritch. But you know what? Another boss down. The plume and the pistol. A fitting end to my folly. And a Defeat curse upon the us all. the Brigandate Pounder. It has been done. Let's take a quick look at all the endgame bosses just for fun. Why not? Uh, Brigand 16 Pounder. Yep, get some upgrades. Let's put this on before we forget. 3% crit, 3 speed. 8 accuracy, 1 crit, less stress damage. Pretty sick. And Jess gets the Blight Chance thing that we picked up. Yeah, pretty much. As we go later into the game, we have to revisit some of the bosses, but they have new mechanics and they're much more difficult. At least that's how it was in the old game. I don't know how much that's changed. And also, I've never been to the cove. Well, we've been to the cove one time, and fish people were scary. But I have no idea what the bosses are like there. Okay. Now we can afford some stress. We got that man of arms that I wanted. So, uh, Manu. Unfortunately, my French is awful. And we'll name him... Foster. Funny enough, our tank is soft. <laughs> we'll drag him in here. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but and his eyes hold the secrets one day, of a hundred campaigns. We'll upgrade our roster and we'll get a new Beastmaster to replace Feral. A friend that we will miss. What happened to Mojo? Oh, Sanitarium. Wait, what? Um, Mojo went on a drunken bender and hasn't been seen since the previous evening. Okay. Can we just act 
Axe Mojo off. Almost as useless as Gale here. Okay, well, let's try and relieve Aya of some stress. We'll send her to the brothel. Is there a safe word? And we'll send myself to the penance hall to relieve the most stress. Selfie can just go for a drink and Jess can go gamble. And now we're broke again. <laughs> and now we have another boss. Now we have the actual hag. Man at arms only. Plus 10 protection if in position 4. Plus 50% heals received if in position 4. Why would you put a man at arms in position 4? Position 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can only do that, that, and that. Yeah, everyone's having a nice time in the tavern. So pretty much, if you have your man-at-arms in position 4, all you do is just buff people. Yeah, we're really short on supply money, but there's not much we can do, and we've already seen how badly doing media missions went. So, purifying altars. Nope, not doing media missions. Media missions scare me. I regret everything about them. Disease resist. Nope. Crit chance on a jester. That's okay. You know what? Let's explore the cove. We'll do a short mission so we don't waste too much resources. I see. So, Man at Arms is at the back, is just kind of like a uh, grizzled war commander protecting his squad and giving out orders. But I kind of like him as like a frontline badass tank dude. So, let's go to the cove. Let's check Foster's skills. He has Crush, he has uh, the Stun, he has Guard, and he has Command. So, he has one buff. I do miss the retribution, but I have no money and I don't want to mess with relearning skills right now. So let's put Foster in here. Let's put, uh, we'll bring the, actually no, let's not bring Gastron in, Nick. Let's bring our Jester, Shane. We'll bring, uh, Selai, Serai, and we'll bring Toad, because we can actually bring Toad with a Man-at-Arms. So we'll have one veteran in this party, and two wannabes, and one complete newbie. And go fight with some fishmen. So we'll take 12 food, take 8 torches, take a key, and two shovels like normal. And we just have a little bit of spending cash left. I see. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Unfortunately, guarding at death's door didn't work for us. So we can skip this room, and I will. Trap. Dodge. So the trap is tentacles coming out of the ground. How do you disarm that? What is this? Bass Relief. That's a shocker. Stun resistance. Lower. Heirlooms, no. Alright, hopefully we don't piss off a Cthulhu monster. For breaking its precious ancient bass relief relic thing. Rubies are nice. Rubies are a girl's best friend right now. Oh, it's manacle. Battle Ballad. And we'll Noxious Blast. Mm -hmm. 
slice and dice ain't too bad. Blink of fire kinda sucks. More slice and dice. Good dodges. Well, uh, crush this guy. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Let's manacle for the kill. Their formation is broken. Maintain Battle ballot the again. Toss some more pocket sand. And crush. Now he's gonna die to blight. Slowly. Gently. Like clockwork. This is how Loving life that gold. is taken. Good start. Pop a torch. Pop a torch. Empty room. Scouting. Okay, I got some combat. And we got a treasure room. First fishman of the night. So let's manacle the stressor, because I can't afford to send these guys in for some stress relief. Seaward Slash. We'll crush. Actually, we can stun him. And then we'll Noxious Blast him. Then we'll Battle Battle. Kind of defeats the purpose of our jesters going last, and then he's buffing everyone's speed. But oh well. We can. This guy is almost dead. Now he's dead. The stress is not nice. Uh, let's manacle the one up front. Ooh, nice crit from Toad. And let's crush. So close. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. There was some more sand. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And manacle the so Continue the onslaught. Okay. Destroy. We even got some deeds. All. So we're off the evening. So far. Pop the torch. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Get ready for some fun combat. Alright, Shane. Shane took 200 gold and 2 food from the party. Nice guy. And hunger. You know what'll stop that hunger? If we had some food, Shane. So last time we killed the jellyfish before it did anything. I'd like a repeat performance. Uh, let's toss a plate grenade back here. Fortunately, we didn't flight the shaman. Oh no. Uh, let's crush the jellyfish. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. It's a pretty interesting corpse that leads fine. Manacle for the kill here. Well, Blight will kill it, but. Jellyfish's. Stun and add a bleed debuff. So, kind of like real life, sort of, not really. Maybe. Toss the play grenade back here. Nice crit. This guy's super dead. Battle ballot again. Got a nice buff on everybody. And we'll crush. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Ah. That's pretty unfortunate. Glad we're not letting any of these jellyfish touch us. Stop this guy in the back, he's gonna die to blight. Death by inches. 
and this guy's also gonna die to Blight if it blights. So, let's stress heal. It feels so weird listening to the other songs after going so long. Uh, <laughs> listening to this battle ballad. Oh, that gives your entire party accuracy. That's cool. Ghoulish horrors. Toss a key in here. And driven into the mud. There was a hidden compartment with holy water in it. Oh boy. Wait. He said, does this liquid have some kick? Does he really has such a huge craving for alcohol that he'll, like, drink mysterious liquids on the ground to test? Okay, go to hell, jellyfish. Stress wave. Well, noxious blast. This one. Battle ballad. Oh god, it went. Shocker. Oh, so we got Shocker twice this run. <laughs> On the same character, no doubt. No less. Some more stupid stress built up. Crush this one. And let's do some stress for you. And noxious blast for the kill. More stress for me. More stress for me. Let's, uh, let's do some healing. Or never mind, that was a buff. At least Remind we're making money, guys. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Trust me when I say I am in the least bit confident right now, Mr. Narrator. Red Room of Doom doesn't look very pleasant. Who here has the best trap chance? 10%, 30%, 30%, 40%. Good. I didn't really trust uh, Toad's ability to deal with traps considering he's got two locks on his chest. Well, on his person at least. Good work, Shane. Makes up for you stealing our food earlier. Kind of. Two more deeds, two more food. Eat those. Okay, more friendly fish people. Let's transform. Rake. Break the coals. Please don't pull. Okay. We can work with this. Maybe. Uh, let's just crush him so this guy doesn't have a chance to do anything. And we'll buff our toad. And we'll battle ballad him as well. Hopefully he can hit from the third slot. Barnacle barrier. Classy move. Okay, good, you can slam. Hit slam moves him up. Battle down. Oh cool, Rampart moves him forward as well. Uh, this gives speed. And more damage. Stacking all kinds of buffs on Toad. Who is now pushed all the way to the back. So let's rampart forward again. Thanks for the tip, Blackwing. 
Ow. Octocestus. A lot of fun time here. Okay, now he can't do anything. Okay, we can Noxious Blast here. Get a little bit of damage done. Let's battle Ballad. And we'll crush this guy. Oh man, that did nothing. That protection buff is pretty big. Well, luckily, this might be our last room of combat. There's still that one hallway encounter. Oh, the bleed on Jess is huge. I wish I had a banded bandage. Uh, we'll slam. Oh man, that was a lot. Why don't we have the skill that removes bleed right now? Okay, well, Noxious Blast is not gonna do much there, so we'll play grenade. Battle ball. And crush. So close. Why on sea life? As life ebbs. Don't die to the bleed. Of emptiness reveal Please don't die to the bleed. Anything but that. Break. Precision and power. Okay. As victories mount, we got some so more flu uh, food. So let's pop one. We still have two rounds of bleed. Okay. That's funny. So bleed proc there. On the brink, pop the food. The abyss. Oh no. Yeah. I was- I know about that skill Blackwing, however this is our alternate Plague Doctor. The other one's not having to drink right now. And I didn't check this one's skills because we only had about 1k gold left. Okay, so we need to stun this guy. The less people doing damage the better. Don't kill. This is no place for the weak or fool. Okay, two deaths today. We'll crush this man and everything he stands for. Point blank shot hurts. You know what? It's one less person to do uh, stress release for afterwards. It's probably a good thing. Oh, how I wish that went the other way around. Only two blight damage. Um. I guess we'll start crushing away. And we're actually gonna have to use our Jester for once to attack. Oh man. Rain of Whips. How oh, I wish I had repost on this character. Harvest again. Nice grid. Executed. And we can transform. Press ourselves out a little bit, but we really just need to kill something. Let's Defender or Jester. Oh, thank God. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. And we'll rage again. The bigger the beast, <sighs> the greater the glory. I don't care about your trinkets right now, game. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty in pink, and I hope it doesn't do anything evil like stress me for 32. Paranoid. 
The Great. walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Monsters at death door. Eat some food. Eat more food. Please be the end of the mission. Okay. Despite its morbid aspect, this twisted cavernous maze seems almost traversable. All right. We got a little bit of funding back. We're sitting like just under 10k, I believe. So we can do a little bit of stress heals on someone. Uh, Hagiomania, Runes Tactician. Heriomania, Weld Tactician. The Yips. They probably shouldn't have cheered me up, but it was pretty fun saying the Yips. Before the crows oh, hey. and rats made it their domain. Our gang is less stressed now. Uh, Aya brought more of a night of debauchery than memories only. New quirk, syphilis. Congratulations, Aya. Uh, engaged in the pleasures of flesh. Clearly. But you're no longer fearful. And I am no longer selfish. And Toad is level 3, which is good. Because now we have a full set of level 3s. Let's check the stagecoach. Well, we have two choices for Houndmasters. Uh, Paran uh, Paranoid uh, misses the spot. No. Night Owl, not too great. No Cheat, Dud Hitter. Hates mankind though, that's a bit better than uh, Night Owl. What about skills? Lick Wound, Self Heal. And no Hound's Harry. Does this one? This one has Hound's Harry. Do I really care that much? It'll save me gold. But it's a slightly worse ability. Yeah, whatever. A lawman and his faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. Okay. Let's check what we got here. We're not touching anything that's orange. Uh, more accuracy. Not great. Uh, stud chits. Okay. That's orange. Highwayman. We do need another Highwayman. Mojo still missing? I'm tired of this woman. Okay. So, how's Foster's stress looking? Pretty bad. Shane's is reasonable. As long as it's about half or below half. I mean, technically Foster's is about half below half, but slightly above. To uh, Toad needs something, though. So we'll bring a fresh party of something. So Toad, you're level 3 now. You deserve a night at the brothel. Have fun, mate. Who do we want to bring? I guess it would be a good idea to start leveling our brand new Houndmaster. We can pull the Nick Gastron combo. Or we could do Gastron and Gale. But uh, I don't really like Arbalist compared to Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters seem so much more useful. And I guess that leaves us with Wing. And Foster, but Foster's pretty stressed. Let's put a Wing in there for now. We'll put... Let's level Gertrude, actually. Because then J our Shane does a lot better in the third slot. The only reason I've been keeping him in the fourth slot is pretty much just to spam Battle Ballad. Because it's either three or four and... Well... Uh, Salai, who was once a member of our party, does really well in the third slot. 
or did well, but well, I guess he didn't even do very well if he died last mission, huh? <laughs> so it's either bring Shane or bring uh, Postal. Uh, Shane has stress. This is Spring Postal. We'll try him out. And we'll move... We can bring Blackwing to carry a group of newbies. Why not? We'll have, uh, three holy men. And a Houndmaster. It'll be like they're out on a purge or something. A witch hunt. And we'll do... You can either go to the Cove or the Warrens. Do we want... Eh, crests are pretty common. Let's go get some portraits. Plus we can get this mostly useless book of relaxation. <laughs> yeah, the carries are real black. Let's pick up food. Get 18. Two shovels. Bandage and torches and a key. They breed quickly down there it's in the dark. Fun room layout. Or perhaps we can slay them even faster. Some heirlooms, another portrait. Right now, we're really focused on getting our gold back up, so if I have to drop some heirlooms, I might, but hopefully it doesn't come to that. Now it's huge. Their formation is broken. Oh, Black. Maintain oh, I love you in this party already. Yeah, that's true. I should have brought a medicinal herb instead of buying some extra food. Oh, well. Live and learn. And zealous. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right, it's a start. Success. It's not so much. Clearly in but view. We'll take it. Or we'll take is it those. merely a trick of the light? Empty room. So I'm thinking we go this way and then loop back around. Such the bones. Bloodthirsty. Everyone likes to be bloodthirsty, apparently. Need our shovel already. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. <sighs> Welcome to the meat room. Where you meet people. But not that time, because there was nobody there. <sighs> Well, these guys aren't going to do any damage, waits. but they're definitely going to stress everybody out, especially if they're going to crit like that. Okay, now now it's getting a bit silly. A Nui. Okay. What is this look? <laughs> a Nui. Virtue chance. Healing skills. Okay, okay. Yep. It's you. It's judgment, something, anything. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. At least this guy has holy lands. Oh man, that was some turn. Three crits in a row. I'm not recruiting these pigs after what they did. Wings got too many diseases now. Surges as the enemy crumbles. How's he gonna s explain that during his love life? As I'm sorry, baby. Mount, you have a Nui. So too will resistance. I got it fighting several pigs in the the Warrens the other day. It's too late for him, Wing. Blackwing. <laughs> oh, the surprises are awful, but at least it only switches these two. Uh, 
not a good day, guys. We gotta probably backpedal a little bit after this. It's dazzling light. We'll just chop away at this big guy. <laughs> oh yeah, getting syphilis from one of these pigs would be pretty difficult to explain. Ah, uh, dodge really blows. Let's try for the stun. That crit, it's nice. And resist the stun. I guess that proves, uh, answers your theory about if crits are guaranteed status effects. Guess not. Okay, let's hounds rush. Another dodge? <laughs> really? Chop. Smite. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless uh, inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Oh man. Some dungeon we're in. Let's uh, get rid of this big corpse. Send it to the dog. Use them. As the fiend falls. Nice crit. A faint hope blossoms. Another shovel. Some food. Good amount of gold. What is this? Oh, uh, bleed stone. Scouting. Okay, so there's no room combat here, so we didn't even have to go here in the first place. That's unfortunate. And I guess that also means that this whole area is gonna be just full of room battles. Hunger. Uh. Sanity is waning. Also, Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> it's not just Christmas for us, it's Christmas for the pigs as well. If they want some good RNG, I guess they can have it. Beast Slayer. That I like the sound of. Replaced Balance. Accuracy and crit chance for Beast. Yeah, I'll be camping relatively soon. Let's hew away at these guys. Blackwing with the sick kills. Send a hound. Is that three misses in a row, Postal? I'm glad you don't have a name right now. You don't deserve a name. You're nowhere as good as Feral was. That, mi that man laid his life down on the line, protecting everybody else. Exposed to a killing blow. Uh, let's get rid of these corpses. And uh, judgment again. <laughs> yeah, Santa brought the enemy's good RNG for Christmas. Rusty victory. knives. But a victory nonetheless. Alright. If this is combat, we'll rest after. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I guess there's no reason not to camp in this next room. 40%. Well, at least you're good for something, Postal. Scrollings. Fast healer. Meh. Another torch. This time I'll remember not to pop a torch before camping. So let's start heading in here. And we'll camp. Ah, uh, trap. 
Mechanical hazards possessed yeah, by just, evil intent. Just a little bit of bleeding. Just a little bit of hunger. Just a little bit of reading. Terrors may indeed stalk hmm. these shadows, but yonder. Well, a glint that's a good gold. time to camp after this room. Hopefully, we get some sick loot for the zero light bonus. All right, please, postal. Thank you for hitting. These wretches are having a field day. Yeah, I can hear all the squealing. It's pretty awful, huh? Q. I wish those numbers were reversed. Uh, let's judgment this bit in the back. Man, that squealing is crazy. I see why people don't let the darkness fully consume everything. Oh, please. Body and brain. Not like this. Yeah, if people thought the game was spooky when the lights are on, this is, they haven't seen anything. Okay. Good job. You did something. Please stun. They gave me the slightest bit of light, and there goes all the pig squealing. That's some good loot. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. And the squealing's back. Let's just move a bit, get the light off. Ah, oh, we can't. This will count. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Okay. Stress relief. One companion if religious well we have three religious people. Let's just do it on wing. Okay. Uh, improve scouting chance, reduce stress by 25. We'll do that on Blackwing. And all companions, heal 10, reduce stress by 10. And we can let down the mask or we can encourage. Let down the mask is really kind of selfish. But Blackwing is the best unit we have here, and I'd rather he not have something bad happen to him. Bless is a pretty decent option, though. And stand tall. Yeah, let's let down the mask. Nothing else we can do. Yeah, the game As does the look slightly purchase, creepy with little light. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. I guess it sets the atmosphere. It's kind of like a uh, spooky campfire ghost story kind of vibe. Traps already. Carelessness will find have any no bandages? clemency in no, this I place. Well, as long as we don't encounter any hunger. Hey, a medicinal herb. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, that dining table. I know we can use a herb on. Oh dear God. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. It's a good thing I spent all that time going for Blackwing and not Wing. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? I guess we should just focus on killing stuff as fast as possible. Even if it's not super efficient. Yeah, 
and we'll judgment. Okay, that's good. One less thing to worry about. And we'll smite the drummer. Okay, good. As long as no one's aiming for wing. If Wing dies to the Vomit, the one damage from Vomit, I'd be so disappointed in him. Okay, we gotta go for this guy. He's the biggest threat on the field right now. Pump him with damage. Pump him with damage even though I could have used my Vestal to heal Wing off Death Guard. Oops. <laughs> ah, I didn't even kill the corpse. Yeah, the red and black shadows, when there was like just at the faintest amount of light left, was pretty cool. Ah, uh, let's purge these corpses. Okay. Wing's alive. Wing's more than alive. He's slightly alive. Okay. This That's expedition that such a cute little a elephant. It's very dazzling. I'm not gonna keep you. I wish I could. Um... Let's get rid of this stone here. We need the money. Uh, we could just eat the rest of this food. If we get hunger, I'm gonna be pretty annoyed. And use this. Cool. More food, but he's full. Now I don't care if we get hungry. You can sell artifacts? If I knew we could sell artifacts, I would be in such <laughs> so much better shape. Spiders. Thank you for spiders. Okay, good job, Postal. The first thing we do when we head back to town, I'm gonna go straight to the Nomad Wagon, and I'm gonna find out if and how we can sell artifacts. That's a pretty bad dodge. I never knew that uh, there was negative penalties for going up to the death store. That's pretty cool. Wary. Triumphant oh, pride precipitates interesting. a dizzying fall. In that case, screw this dog treat. And let's head to the hamlet. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just work ending them. Okay. That's a good amount of gold. And a decent amount of heirlooms. Wing and Blackwing are level 3. Hylomania. Obsessed with material things. Loves the code. Don't know why. Ruins Tactician. Replaced Beast Slayer. Why? Beast Slayer was so good. <laughs> Cediomania. My obsession. This I wouldn't say we're breaking even, Selfie. We're actually making it back up. It See, right. we clawed out. We're back up to 14k. We're slowly building our pile back up. That huge loss we took on doing the medium mission was kind of silly. Okay, let's see. So if we click the chest, get our... Oh, old shift to sell trinkets. 
Don't I feel smart? A thousand gold? Always. So does that mean every time I get this it'll automatically sell when I come back? Oh, I am so happy right now. You have no idea. This is probably the greatest Christmas gift you could have ever given to me, Blackwing. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, uh, yeah, I guess Smite does bonus damage against Unholy, so if he has the bonus in that area as well, then he'll do a lot more damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sunstone. Please give me all this delicious gold. Who needs common trinkets? Not I. Oh, it's so glorious. Black, you've made me the happiest girl in the world. Oh, baby. Remember this crappy book? I don't. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. Alright, Selfie, remember when we, uh, didn't have any golds? It's a lot of vessels. Alright. Can you treat positive quirks? So if you treat positive quirks, does that, like, lock it in permanently, or does that, uh... Uh, does that just remove it, like normal? Because that would be an interesting thing to find out. Okay, let's check the Nomad Wagon. Pretty decent. Not so decent. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it takes away positive quirks. That's unfortunate. So I guess back in the old days, once you uh, had all the quirks, they wouldn't rewrite each other. You'd just have what you had. Ah, I see. But if you have this random chance to reroll your positive quirks, that's pretty, like, crappy. But it makes sense that you'd want to, like, remove melee skills from a ranged unit or something along those lines. Okay, let's see what we can upgrade. Blacksmith, we can reduce cost. We're balling right now. Don't really want that. Probably should get that. I want that very badly. A strict regimen is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. And we could upgrade the stagecoach to take the highwayman. Good. Okay, first and foremost. Postal. You did okay. Gertrude, welcome to the bar. Wing. God fearing. Uh, you guys go. Transept. Yeah. Positive quirks uh, replace other positive quirks when you're full, but that's kind of the unfortunate thing. Because if you keep a unit for so long and they build positive quirks that you like, there's like that random chance that you'll get rid of a positive quirk that you like. It would be interesting if they had a mechanic where you could lock in a per uh, perk permanently. Like say, uh, you had like a maxed out sanitarium, and you could stick your character in for like 10 grand and just positively have that perked, so it can never be removed. I don't think it's possible to lock quirks, but it would be really cool if you could. That would be some kind of Christmas gift, huh? <laughs> and I guess we'll shove Shane in the gambling hall. Why not? Hey, Mojo's back. 
What have you been up to? Ah. Just returned from your drunken vendor. Not even gonna tell us what you did. Okay. So what else? Stick the sinful in here. Upgrade all of those good skills. Retribution. And just Let's go to the blacksmith. Upgrade everyone's armor. Armor is pretty important considering how much stronger everything is in the late game. We'll dump all of our money out upgrading those guys and we'll toss a little black wing in here and toad. Just his armor and his weapons. Now we're kind of low, so let's just uh, stick to uh, yeah. I've actually experienced moments where people can lose their items uh, going on trips. Unfortunately. It's one of those things that you're not gonna think about all the time, because when you come back from a dungeon, you at least uh, you're mostly just thinking about, hey, I really need to get rid of the stress, take all my money, and not, hey, I'm gonna get rid of all my stress and take back all my trinkets, so when you get drunk and go exploring, you don't lose them. <laughs> but I mean, it's a good habit to have. But I'd probably only take off like legendary items. Or, like, good rares. So, let's, uh... I is good. Well, none of those guys are... Going anywhere. Postal, Gertrude, Wing... Yeah, none of them have items anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's scout out where we're headed. Ooh. Hag. This again. Nope. That would be nice for uh, Toad, but we can't do that. We can fight the Swine Prince though, and that is a good ring. Accuracy is useful. Focus rings I remember being pretty decent. And it's medium low level. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's good enough to make me feel encouraged to do it. So let's round up a low-level party, because I think level 3 people can't go there anymore, yeah. Ha, such is child's play. So we can only bring levels 0, 1, and 2 people to fight that boss. So let's find out who we would take. Um, or we can bring the Nick... Gastron combo. And we have Mojo back. Wherever the hell she was. And I guess we could take Foster even though he's kind of crazy. Oh, Aya. Double Barbarians. Crit happens. What the hell was that? If you have a certain party, does it give you a, an extra benefit? Can I check that anywhere? Crit happens. I guess we do want Mojo in the front though, because Mojo still has Iron Swan. Okay then. Ah, I see. So it's just the aesthetic thing. That's pretty cool though. So I guess this is like a developer recommended team or something. <laughs> Crit goddesses. I don't know if I want to call Mojo a goddess right now though. She's been kind of on my nerves lately. But you know what, I think, uh, 
We've been streaming for about two hours now, and it's Christmas. So even though I'm around to give you this guys the video, I think we're gonna call it an evening for now and get back to it later. So thanks for watching. Tomorrow we'll head into the uh, Warrens and go beat up the Swine Prince with a Crit Happens team. Or lovely crit goddesses with their three-quarter diseases. They have they're bulimic, they have syphilis, they have the runs, and they're gonna crit you. <laughs> Alright, good night guys. Merry Christmas. It's been fun. And if you enjoyed, uh follow. Stick around, we'll be back again soon.